Hello, my loves. Welcome to your next 72, February 17th through the 19th. This is going to be for Capricorn singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? So, guys, if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every month guys for um free readings i give away tarot cards oracle cards uh, palo santo sage jewelry it's a huge giveaway on the first of the month okay so please be sure to like comment share uh subscribe click that notification bell so you know uh when my readings post and you know when that video comes out announcing the winners okay because you only have till the last day of the month to claim your winnings um, guys, in the description box below, you will find the link for my Instagram. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you will find the link for the playlist for my Timeless Collective readings. Um, you would just go on, check out the title, see if something resonate, resonates. They're timeless. So whenever you're called to watch it, you're called to watch it. Um, you will find the link to uh, book a reading with me. I am taking personal readings right now. So if you would like a reading, the link will be below. Um, you will find the link uh, for my website to view my tarot collection. Um, I do have over 100 decks. There are links to purchase. Um, if you would like to find out how to recognize and attract your soulmate and get more information on what a soulmate actually is, I did make a video on that. The link will be below. Um, and if you would like to... Um, subscribe and click that notification bell on my new channel divine spirit healing 1111 um there will be no tarot on that channel it's only for spiritual guidance spiritual healing talking about spiritual warfare um a whole bunch of stuff so the first video on that is going to be coming out this week but if you'd like to go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified um when that video comes out the link will be below okay so let's go ahead and get started here Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What messages do we have for my Capricorn singles, please? Holy Spirit, what love messages, what clarity and guidance do we have for my Capricorn singles, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. All right, so guys, we have Sing Your Own Song, Canary Spirit. So I feel that you guys uh, might be in an energy where you're finding yourselves right now. You're single, you're learning what you like, what you don't like. Um, you know what I'm saying? You're just finding yourself right now, maybe doing some soul searching. In the recent past here, we have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges, okay? So I feel like maybe... You've had connections in the past where people have uh, passed judgment on you or um, criticized the way you do things. And I feel that moving on now as you're single, that you're starting to just love who you are and you want to be around people who accept you <coughs> for who you are. So yeah, you see we have new supportive connections coming in. So if you have a certain issue, whatever, we're all weird. It's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to have people coming in that actually support your wants, support your dreams, okay? You could be an artist. And in the past, you've been with people that are like, oh, you'll never make a living off of that. That's not responsible. Whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? That's just an example. But you have people that constantly are judging the way you want to live your life or telling you that you can and can't do something. And you want people that actually support support your dreams, support your, you know, who you are, bring positivity into your life that don't judge the way you want to live your life. Okay. For some of you, I'm feeling like you may be coming into a place where you're starting to accept, um, you know, if, if you are uh, attracted to the same sex, okay, you're starting to accept that, um, you know, maybe you're going to want to go down that route full force. Maybe you're not hiding it anymore and you want people that are going to support and love you for who you are. Okay, that may resonate with a few of you. Um, so let's see what we have coming in here for my Capricorn singles. Okay. 
Okay, so under the deck here, we've got the Four of Swords. Yeah, you're taking a rest here. You're taking a break, contemplating, thinking. And the Four of Swords is generally an energy of um, taking a break after a fight. So there may have been some arguing in the recent past with connections that you were in um, where people maybe have been pushing you to be something that you're not or judging you when you really show your true colors and show who you really are. And you're just taking a break from it. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. But no matter what these people have to say, Capricorn, you've held on. You've held on and you're optimistic that you're going to find the person that is meant for you. We have the Seven of Cups with the Justice card. We have the Six of Cups and we have the Fool. So I'm feeling here with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups, this could possibly be family. Or it could be an ex that with the seven of cups, multiple exes here. Okay, so if we're talking about exes, there may be multiple exes here or multiple family members here that with the justice card, maybe just are not doing the right thing by you. Or you may feel that the right thing to do is just to move on from these people and just be yourself. Take that risk. Take that leap of faith to find who you really are. The Fool is also about travel. Some of you may be feeling like, you know what, it's time for me to move out, to explore the world. Maybe you guys are going to go on a road trip or something just to explore who you really are on the inside. So we have here, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So you're free, you know, freeing yourself from, look, we have uh, this fence here and you're there in the middle. So people are trying to conform you to being something that you're not or that you just simply don't want to be. And you're freeing yourself. You're singing your own song. You know, maybe you have friends, family members or exes that felt like you should, um, you know, take care of this responsibility, that responsibility, uh, be with this person, act this type of way. And you're like, no, I want to be my own person. So we have here the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, Libra energy here with the justice card um the lover's card gemini energy and the four of cups so with the magician here you guys are manifesting um a person here with the lover's card the lover's card is a beautiful soulmate connection but it's somebody who mirrors you somebody who sh uh, um who shares your ideals, your likes, your dislikes, your values, your way of viewing the world. And you want to manifest somebody who accepts you for who you are because they are similar to you. They share what you share, okay? With the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups, you're so tired of feeling rejected and loss and pain. You're tired of feeling that. You're, you're tired of people not accepting you for who you are, okay? Now, with these new supportive connections, I do feel someone new coming in that's very supportive of what you want to do with your life or who you really are and with this person i'm seeing engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so if you haven't met this person yet capricorn we do have them coming in um this could possibly be starting off as a friendship and the fact that they truly accept you for who you are is making you want more with this person the two of cups we've got a beautiful beautiful soulmate connection here guys um we've got the ten of wands we have the ace of cups and the oh my lanta capricorn i'm like i am so jealous right now okay so listen guys you the love and passion here it's disgusting it's just disgusting <laughs> i mean we've got the two of cups the ace of cups and the ace of wants so a beautiful soulmate connection that's moving into deeper commitment we've got a lot of love a lot of passion for each other you guys are so attracted to each other like magnetically attracted to each other the feelings are so strong they're overwhelming you they're overwhelming you so i do see an absolutely insanely gorgeous connection coming in for you guys oh this is so gorgeous capricorn Yeah, whatever you guys are manifesting, whatever you guys are working on, this is gorgeous. And I mean really gorgeous. Let me pull some of these. Let's see if we can get... Actually, no. Let's pull this. Let's see if we can see what this person looks like or some information here. This person is your destiny. 
you were meant to be with this person. It was destined for you two to meet, for you guys to be together. We've got fair male here. So this person could have fair skin, light eyes, light hair, and this person makes you feel free, free to be yourself, okay? So um, either you're a fair male or we could have a fair male coming in or they could just be in their divine masculine energy possibly. We have dark male. So interesting. So what I'm getting is we could have a different combination of things here. So they could have like darker skin with lighter eyes. It's a mixture between uh, light and dark. Okay. So someone's going to have a very strong contrast. So they may have like black hair, dark eyes. They may have dark skin with light eyes. They, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be something very contrasting about this person. Um, like their eyes may be very different from their hair color. So they may have blonde hair with very dark eyes. Um, but it's, it's a contrast. Whatever this person has, it's a contrast. For some of you, this person actually may be, um, from two different ethnic ethnicities how do you say that it, it you know what i'm trying to say right okay so but we have spiritual growth here okay so this person is going to give you the freedom to grow to be yourself to grow spiritually okay again like i said this person it may start off as a friendship i'm feeling this is definitely a soulmate twin flame connection because that oh past life soulmate possibly past like you've known each other in a past life control So what I'm getting here, past life, ice king, and controlling. So in a past life, this person may have been very controlling or domineering. Or you may have had some type of control over this person. Okay. So we have a courting man here. So you know this person from a past life. So you're able to take this person from a courting man and you actually turn them, you're able to uh, tame the beast is what I'm getting here with control and ice king. So you take this person and you turn them from like a player or a courting man, you have control over them. Like you're, th th this connection is so strong that they can't control themselves with ice king. They can't like shut off that fire with you. This is someone that you have a lot of fun with. A lot of fun with and you're definitely free to be yourself here this is so gorgeous guys past life soulmate with control and ice king i feel that courting man control and ice king i feel yeah i feel like this person may be one of those people that's very hard to get like they may come off player girl player guy type of thing but you can literally work this person like a like you smile at them and they just melt type of thing you know what i'm saying you guys have a lot of fun together a lot of you guys just feel free spiritual growth here this is insanely gorgeous this is just disgusting i need to stop i love you guys you got some really amazing stuff coming in so hang on tight okay i love you i'll see you soon